Hi, this is my the intro to my series about how to use the site Roll20.net to play War Machine online. Uh, it's Roll20.net is a generic RPG player, um, and it's uh, so uh, setting it up for War Machine is a very DIY process. You're gonna uh, you'd have to you have to kind of set things up yourself. But once you get it going, uh, I think it's a really great tool for playing War Machine online. Uh, so just to get started, I'm just going to do a short demo of how you might play uh, play War Machine once you got this stuff set up, and uh, then I can talk a little bit about the features of Roll20.net that I think make it work well for um, playing War Machine online, and uh, so let's get started. So in this scenario I set up here, um, Thagrosh is about to charge into Krios 3, so uh, Krios 3 is in trouble, um, so I'm going to grab Thagrosh here, drag him over. Check to make sure he has enough movement to to uh, land and attack Krios. So I'll use my little measuring tool here just to check his melee range. Looks good. Um, so now I'm going to start making attacks. So uh, in his initial charge attack, he's going to roll two dice, and he's mat seven against a def fourteen. So he rolled a three and he misses. Now uh, he has seven fury, so he's going to spend the fury point to buy another attack. Roll 2d6. This time he hits. Uh, he's also going to spend a Fury to boost his damage roll, so now he's down to 5, and uh, he gets to roll 3d6. Uh, since he's POW, POW 18 and Krios is ARM 18, it's going to be uh, straight dice. So now Krios can spend a point of focus to uh, reduce that damage by 5, and uh, so he'll take 9 points of damage and go down to 9 left. Um, so you can continue this process and uh, resolve this uh, resolve this combat and I just wanted to show off I did do this demo it's just a quick quick example of um, how playing War Machine uh, on Roll20.net could work. Um, so just to talk a little bit about the features of Roll20 that make it uh, great for playing War Machine. Uh, the first one is that it has this built-in video chat so right now I'm not connected to anyone but if I were then we'd, we'd have a video and audio chat built in here so I think that's pretty slick. Um, you can see I demoed the the rolling tools here, they have a pretty flexible system for making dice rolls uh, that uh, get uh, that go in a chat that the other player can see. Um, they have this uh, the um, ruler system to, me to accurately measure distances. They have the movement system where you can uh, accurately see how far you've moved. Um, and uh, they also have the, this editor that lets you uh, import custom images that I'm using for the models and tokens and also the backgrounds and terrain, etc. Um, so it's, as, I, as I said, this is all very DIY. This is, it, it's, uh, Roll20 doesn't support, you know, steamrollers, steamroller scenarios or any kind of war machine rules out of the gate. But it's, since it's a flexible tool, you can uh, use it to make it work. Um, so. Uh, I, and before I wrap up, I want to just talk a little bit about the alternative. Um, I think the the standard for playing War Machine online right now is a, a tool called Vassal, um, and uh, it has a module that's customized for War Machine. Um, so if you uh, are interested in playing War Machine online, I encourage you to check that out as well, and, and you can see what you think. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for using that, so you could maybe watch one of those and see how it compares. Uh, the reason that I sought out uh, another, a different uh, tool to try to play War Machine was that I feel like the learning curve for Vassal is pretty high, and also the War Machine module is great, but the, um, the but Vassal itself I think is pretty dated. Um, it's a Java app that you have to install on your desktop, and I just find it to be a little bit slow and clunky. Um, so, and when I was uh, wanting to play online, I was trying to teach a friend of mine how to play War Machine, and I felt like trying to teach him War Machine and Vassal at the same time was going to be really uh, a little bit painful. So, uh, so that's that's how why I ended up seeking out uh, other options, and I ran into this Roll20.net that I feel like is pretty slick. Um, so if you uh, if you are, are interested in this and uh, you you're wanting to learn more, I'm planning to do a series on. Uh, how to set all this up and how to play and, and teach you all the mechanics of using Roll20.net to play War Machine. So uh, I hope you um, check it out and thanks for watching.